uk and i'm back today with another one of my fine art floral suite projects so this is the one on page 32 and 33 of the catalogue shows the suite and then the stamp set is over the page um, if you haven't got a catalogue obviously just um and you haven't got a demonstrator do contact me if you're in the united kingdom i'd be more than happy to pop one in the post to you um and this is the card i'm making today using this suite if you want to know more about the complete suite and all of the um products that are in there then if you pop onto my youtube channel um you can have a look uh, at the beginning of this month i did a, a sweet showcase on my facebook live which i've shared on to uh, my youtube as well so you can have a look at all of the different products um, that are in the suite but what i'm using today is a couple of things um, i'm using the um, embossing folder uh, that you can see here which is the painted texture one absolutely beautiful almost like a gouache effect um, so that's the embossing folder and I'm using some of the designer series paper as well as an accent which comes in 12 by 12 sheets and on the one side you've got these lovely floral images and then more generic patterns on the reverse um, and the acetate actually overlays two of the designs so that's one of the designs um, and there's uh, and the other one is this one here so you know really versatile um, paper and what's lovely is on the reverse you have got these gouache images again so I thought I'm going to use one of those today and I'm going to emboss it so see what that works out so this one is just petal pink cardstock which I've embossed with some of the DSP so I'm actually going to take a piece of that um, DSP uh, with that pattern that lovely sort of painted effect on the reverse which is this one here and you can see it's on the back of that deep blue one so I've got that and I'm going to pop that inside the embossing folder and then sort of just add an extra layer of texture to it as well so you kind of I'm hoping that'll work sort of out quite nicely so these are um, the 3d embossing folders so they are that bit thicker than a standard embossing folder so just double check the sandwich on your embossing machine um, obviously if you've got the stamping up cut and emboss it will tell you on on the plates on there if you've got the older stamping up machine you might have to use your blue embossing plate or something similar so actually that's lovely so not you've got some really lovely effect there so um that piece of card of dsp was 10 by 14 centimeters i should have said and um, i'm going to add that to a card base which is 29 by 10 and a half scored at 14 and a half to create my my card base now then what i i've then got is two pieces of the um, contrasting designer series paper so i've used this one here which is the deeper one um and these are 10 by seven and a half centimeters and i have scored that at um at five centimeters so so and when you do that just be aware that you want a top and a bottom so if you've got a direction on your piece um, you just want to make sure that you keep that um, as well so um, what i'm now going to do is pop those to one side very briefly now i'm just going to mark the center point um, of these at five centimeters on the reverse and that's just to give me a little mark to help with my folding so this double pointed card is you know it I've done variations on it this one is just creating a, a, a front using some DSP and all you're going to do is fold that down to that point and fold it down to the um, to the crease like so and do the same again so you want a really nice sharp crease and fold that now if you find you've got a bit of overlap there you can trim that it doesn't matter that's going to tuck behind your your paper so we do the same on this one and just mark, making that mark there just makes it a little bit easier for you um, to get a nice sharp point on there okay so those are our two points um, so I thought I'd go a bit, a bit blues with this one. So there, these are here are our elements coming together. What we now want to do is actually do some stamping. So for this, you're going to need obviously a scrap of um, some basic white cardstock, which I've got here, um, and you're going to ch choose then whatever colour palette you want. Now, what I have done is I've created myself some little swatches, all sorts of colour combinations, so that I can put those together and see which ones I wanted. So I kind of got blues here. I could have gone for that one, which is a specific point, but actually I thought this blue was actually a bit more pretty peacock. 
So what I've done is I've gone for Pretty Peacock and Pool Party. So I'm going to stamp my large floral image with Pool Party. And then the large, the detailed one, I'm going to add with my Pretty Peacock. So just come in there and overlay that. It doesn't have to be a perfect match, um, but it gives a really detail, lovely detail on the flower. And then what I'm going to do is just quickly rough cut that out. And pop that through my mini cut and emboss. So this is great for doing floral images. So with, with this you get three plates, you've got your base plate, you've then got your cut, um, a cutting plate, so you want to keep one for cutting and one that hasn't been used for cutting. Obviously we do have spare plates. I'm just using a bit of post-it note tape to hold that in place so it doesn't move. Then my little mini cut and emboss and quickly whiz that through there. And the great thing about this is look how neat that is absolutely perfect and as the vast majority of my other die cuts now that I um, like to do perfect list of floral images obviously if you wanted to you could um, um, fussy cut that out if you haven't got a die cutting machine that would work just as well so let's put um, you'd also want to um, cut out stamp and cut some leaves which I've done there in mossy meadow so now we're on to um, our card construction. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually add some adhesive to the reverse of, um, of this. Now I'm adding a bit of Seal Plus to the reverse because obviously it's, we've got a couple of layers going on here. Um, so I'm going to come in and just line that up there. And then you just, you'll probably want to Grab your bone folder, which I've now put down, of course, and as if by magic, it has, of course, disappeared. And just reinforce that, and then do the same on the other end. So pop our stamp and seal. Great thing with Seal Plus, it breaks off really easily. Uh, and by that, I mean, you know, you, you don't get some long strands. Helps if you put it the right way round, of course. So just coming in, just not butting right up to the very end there. And then just pop a little bit on the inside of those two flaps. And then making sure you've got your orientation right for your card, you can pop that onto your card front. So seal would actually do the job on this. I'm waiting for my order to come through my refill we're having the joys of um, Covid delays and everything else at the moment and of course the dreaded B word Brexit um, so it's not uh, we're not having the prompt deliveries that we have been used to but I'm assured that things will be through soon so there we go our cards starting to come together now but what I like to do I've shown you this before I just like to shape these flowers and leaves to kind of just make them a little bit more um, not realistic but just give them a little bit of dimension so just towards the center I'm going to add a couple of dimensionals for my flower and then I'm going to add my one on each of my leaves but I'm actually going to use my um, mini dimensionals for those because then the, the leaf will then curl around a little bit um, and if you've run out of mini dimensionals on your sheet just cut up those side pieces it's still smaller than a main dimensional. There we go. Okay. So just kind of roughly position it and when you're happy add that on. Then we can add our flower. You want to put you want to add the flower over the top of the stalk. She says didn't not quite as aligned as I might have liked on that one. Okay, so there's our flower. What I'm actually going to do is just add a tiny touch of glue underneath 
that stem it's sort of floating away a little bit um, so I'm just going to tiny little bit of Tombow just hold that in place okay. just a few moments there we go it's starting to stick and then all that's left is our sentiment now I say this every time um, I do tend to um, use sentiments um, die cut any any sort of elements for sentiments um, as as I go along um, I like to kind of have a stash that I can easily grab them um, and just for a change I thought I'd use the ribbon as a lace this is the ribbon that comes in the suite uh, and I'm just going to grab one of our see one of our little labels these little postage labels out of there and I'm going to cut a piece of ribbon that is just that sort of around about the same length as that I'll grab my ribbon scissors and just cut it at a slight angle so only, only a small piece of ribbon makes it go a long way my sentiment I thought it was rather nice with those colours perhaps to go for a um, thinking of you could easily it could be a sympathy card cool blues so just a bit of pretty pretty pink that nice bit of a pink ink all over that this is why you cut more than one at a time Just pop that on there. And then again with this, if you add your Stampin' Seal Plus to the back of that, that will just attach really well to the ribbon. And then you can just add some dimensionals onto the back of that as well. Or even better, if you've got a, sort of a strip of... Um, from the side of your dimensionals that's absolutely perfect to pop in the middle there and you can just add that to the front there and there we have one of our double pointed cards in pink and in blues and on this one doesn't show up as well but you've got the love not only have you got the painted texture you've actually got the physical texture as well with that which do you prefer? Team pink, team blue? Both I think look at, look lovely. I love the blue on, on, on this one, um, but I love, I, I like both of them. See what you think. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to purchase this suite or any elements from it, you'll find the links in um, to it, um, to my shop in the information bar below. Just press on the little uh, triangle. And uh, if not, pop along to my blog where you can find me at Flutter by Hiding. There are links on there. Um, or you can go direct to my Stampin' Up shop at HeidiSmith.StampinUp.net. Thanks for watching. Come back again soon. Please subscribe. Bye now.